Hi, I'm Sharona, and today I'm going to be teaching you a card game called Egyptian Rat Slap. So I'm going to start off by saying that this is um, a game that can be played with anywhere from two to eight players, and it's played with a standard 52 card deck. Um, so to start off, you deal the cards out around to each player evenly, and it's okay if a couple of them have like one more card, if it's not a perfect um, split. But um, dealing from, well, it doesn't matter the direction. So the start um, goes from the player left to the dealer. So um, here, if player one dealt, player two would start. Um, and they just put a card out into the center. I'm making sure to flip it away from them like I just did so that um, everyone else can see it before they do. Um, and then they would just continue in a circle. So player three would go next until a face card appears. So player three played a jack. And depending on the face card that appears, um, the next player, so player four, gets a different number of chances to play a face card. So uh, jack means that player four would get one chance. If it were a queen, they would have two chances. A uh, king would give them three and ace would give them four chances to play a face card. So now, since it is a jack, player four only gets one chance to play a face card. And they did not succeed. So player three would get these cards. And the object of the game is to end with all the cards. So you want to get, obviously, as many as possible throughout the game. Now, whoever uh, picks up cards um, is the first to play. So now player three would play. And they would keep continuing until someone played a face card. Um, and if uh, the next player did succeed at playing a face card, so right now player one succeeded at playing a face card after player four, um, then it would just continue. And now player two would get the chance, three chances since it's a king, to play a face card. And if they didn't succeed, then player one would get it because they were the last to play a face card. So another way to gain cards in the game is by slapping. So there are many variations to the game um, that different people play with different rules in terms of what you can slap. So the most common combinations would be doubles. So if there were, for example, two sixes or even two queens in a row, then the first player to slap the middle of the pile um, when that combination appears would get the cards. So assuming that player two just slapped a double, then they would get the cards to put at the bottom of their deck. Um, another common one is sandwiches. So if one five were played and then a three and then another five, that would be a sandwich and you can slap that um, and add it to your pile. Um, and yeah, again, at the beginning of the game, anyone can decide, you can all decide what um, variations you wanna play with. You can play with as many as you'd like. I usually play with three variations with sandwiches, doubles and um, marriages, which would be a king and a queen right next to each other. Um, but you can play with whatever you'd like. And yeah, you continue until whoever um, ends up with all the cards would win. Um, if you run out of cards, um, you're not yet out of the game. You still have one chance to slap back in um, before you are disqualified. Um, and But if you do use this slap and you fail, it's a false slap. Um, well, in general, a false slap would mean you'd have to add, you'd have to sacrifice a card into the middle. So if you slapped something that wasn't actually slapped, like you thought a nine and a six was, six was a six and a six, but it turned out it wasn't, then you would have to sacrifice your top card and put it at the bottom of the deck. Um, and that card is a dead card, so if it's a face card or if it ends up being a double, that doesn't count. Um, but so again, returning to if you get out of the game, if you run out of cards, you still have one chance to slap back in. But if you do have a false slap, or if you do succeed at slapping back into the game and gaining cards, but then you run out of cards again, then you are out of the game. Um, yeah, and that's all there is to know. So I hope you can play Egyptian Rat Slap and have fun. And thanks for watching.